So you're probably looking to build a new computer system, that is if you're watching this video because you're interested in super fast DDR5 memory, right? I know I am, I'm not sure which platform to be honest I am going with. However, it looks like, you know, the uh, ZAD or Z890 platform from Intel, which supports, you know, the Intel Core Ultra CPUs. Well, it's not, at this moment, it doesn't look really good and it doesn't really look great for gaming. And, you know, while I do a lot of other things on this main computer system that I'm on right now, actually, I do a lot of gaming as well. So that's really top priority for me. So maybe this time I won't go with Intel. Maybe I will go with AMD. I am not sure. I'm going to wait probably until maybe January or February next year to see you know, if and when AMD releases the 9950X 3D CPU and couple that with a motherboard and some really fast memory and then a nice fast M2 drive. I don't know. We will see what happens, but it is interesting and it is exciting when you are upgrading definitely but it also can be extremely frustrating because sometimes, you know, the hardware and the software, well, they don't work perfectly and that to be honest is kind of understandable so let's actually dive in to this article it's pretty short but you can head over here i will provide the link in the youtube description down below and have a read all right so this article here discusses a new world record for ddr5 ram overclocking achieved using g scale trident z5 rgb memory on an asus rog Maximus Z890 Apex motherboard with an Intel Core Ultra 9 285K processor. The memory was overclocked to an astounding 12,112 MT per second using, of course, liquid nitrogen cooling. Now that is a lot of mega transfers, isn't it? It's crazy. And of course, we're not going to be running liquid nitrogen, are we? Maybe some of us. But, you know, really, this highlights uh, how the Intel's new Arrow Lake platform and DDR memory got some major, major potential. So give Intel at least that much. I mean, the launch hasn't been good so far, but once maybe all the hardware and software issues are ironed out, it could be, and it might be really, really good also in and for gaming. So we'll have to wait and see. Don't call it yet. Wait for, you know, more time and more reviews. Uh, maybe wait a few extra months if you possibly can. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up instead of rambling on and on. And with that, I will ask you guys a question. Which new platform are you going to be upgrading to? Is it going to be Intel or AMD. I am weighing more now at this particular moment, that's November 2024, on probably going with AMD, but I'm going to wait and see how it all unfolds.